In the 1960s, researchers went to an elementary school, armed with a battery of tests. They went through all of the kids from grade one to grade six and tested the intellect of each child. They went back to the teachers with the results and told them who was the most promising, who stood out. They called these kids bloomers. At the end of the school year, the researchers went back to the school and tested all of the students again. They found that the most promising students, the bloomers, they'd identified, had gained twice as many IQ points as the rest of their classes. Then they told the teachers the truth. Those high-performing students were actually just selected at random. In reality, nothing had changed before and after those tests. So how did they gain so much? Well, the child was the same. The curriculum was the same. In reality, the child's potential was the same before and after those tests. But one thing had changed. The expectations of the teacher. The teacher now expected more and so demanded more from that student. They had higher expectations of that child. At the end of the research paper, they quote a line in George Bernard Shaw's play, Pygmalion. It's a story of a young girl living in poverty, selling flowers on the street. A professor happens by and makes a bet with someone that he can teach her to behave and to speak so well that he can pass her off, not as the commoner she is, but as a lady in high society. He spends months training the girl and eventually he wins the bet. It's the same for our kids in our communities and in our streets. The difference between a street child and any other kid is not how she behaves, it's how she's treated. The motto of the Street Child World Cup is I am somebody. The idea is to give kids who have no identity, no recognition, the idea that they matter, they are somebody. When our kids first heard this, they were a bit confused. They thought, well, of course I'm somebody. It seemed unfinished, they said. Somebody who what? So we thought, you know what, maybe you're right. Maybe it is unfinished. And maybe the point is that you go write the next bit. I am Ronalyn. I am somebody who graduated from a top university here in the Philippines. I finished as cum laude and now I mentor the next generation. Hi, I am Angelica. I am somebody who teaches at the youth center. Somebody who is working to improve herself. Hi, I'm Agot. I am somebody who represents the country playing on the national rugby team. I am somebody who earned a football scholarship to a top university in the Philippines. Hi, I am Altea. I am somebody who is learning to coach in my community. I am somebody who earned the chance to study in Hong Kong and will take my bachelor's degree in the U.S.